before you rush out to buy a new streaming box, take a breath. Because Apple's next Apple TV 4K 2025 model could quietly change how you experience entertainment, from sharper YouTube playback to smoother gaming and smarter home automation. Apple hasn't officially announced it yet, but leaks, TVUS 18 developer code, and supply chain whispers paint a surprisingly consistent picture. The next Apple TV might not look radically different, but internally, it's about to fix almost everything people have complained about for years, from frustrating remotes to laggy streaming codecs. So in this in-depth analysis, we'll unpack what's real, what's hype, and whether you should wait for Apple's 2025 model or buy the current Apple TV 4K right now. And by the end, you'll have a clear evidence-backed decision checklist in just 10 seconds. One, the processor revolution from A15 to A17 Bionic Power. Every meaningful Apple TV upgrade begins with a chip. The 2022 Apple TV 4K runs on Apple's A15 Bionic, a powerful processor for its time, but now two generations behind Apple's latest silicon roadmap. Insiders and developers combing through tvOS 18 Beta Co. believe that the next Apple TV 4K will jump to at least the A16, with a high possibility of using the A17 Pro, the same chip found in the iPhone 15 Pro. Why does this matter? Because the chip determines not just speed, but which video formats, frame rates, and AI-driven audio optimizations the box can handle. With an A17 class processor, Apple can finally deliver hardware-level AV1 decoding, which could completely transform YouTube's streaming quality on Apple devices. Right now, the current Apple TV doesn't support AV1 natively, forcing apps like YouTube to fall back on less efficient codecs. That's why, when you compare playback on a Roku Ultra or a Google Chromecast with AV1 decoding, you'll sometimes notice cleaner motion, smoother edges, and less pixelation on detailed textures, especially grass, hair, or low-light scenes. AV1 changes all that. It's a next-generation codec designed for streaming platforms like YouTube, Netflix, and Disney+. It delivers better picture quality at the same internet bandwidth, meaning cleaner motion, richer contrast, and sharper visuals without needing faster Wi-Fi. If the 2025 Apple TV 4K integrates AV1 decoding directly into the A17 hardware, it'll instantly level up the visual experience, particularly for heavy YouTube users. Expect fewer compression artifacts, crisper detail, and lower data usage, even when streaming at 4K HDR. 2. HDMI 2.1 Unlocked 4K at 120Hz and Variable Refresh Rate The 2022 model already has an HDMI 2.1 port, but Apple limited output to 4K 60Hz. That's enough for most movies and shows, but not for next-generation gaming or high frame rate sports. The rumored 2025 version is expected to unlock the full potential of HDMI 2.1, allowing 4K at 120Hz and variable refresh rate, VRR. What does that mean for users? If you own a 120Hz capable TV, you'll experience smoother motion, reduced input lag, and a much more immersive visual flow. Sports content, especially fast-moving events like football or Formula One could look closer to real life, while Apple Arcade titles and third-party games through cloud gaming platforms like GeForce Now or Xbox Cloud Gaming could finally feel console-grade. The upgrade also ties into Apple's broader strategy. The company increasingly treats the Apple TV not just as a streaming box, but as a hub for entertainment, gaming, and smart living. Pair that with improved tvOS game controller support, and the result could be the most versatile Apple TV yet, bridging casual gaming, cinematic streaming, and smart home management. 3. Wi-Fi 6E and the possibility of Wi-Fi 7. Streaming stability depends on one thing above all else, connection quality. And the next Apple TV is expected to introduce Wi-Fi 6E at minimum and possibly Wi-Fi 7 if Apple aligns it with its 2025 Mac and iPad refresh cycle. Wi-Fi 6E introduces the 6 GHz band, a cleaner, faster lane for high bandwidth devices. If you live in a crowded area or a large household with multiple users, 
this change can be dramatic. You'll see fewer dropouts, shorter buffering times, and consistently higher bit rates during prime hours. Wi-Fi 7, on the other hand, would be a leap beyond that, supporting even lower latency and multi-link operation. That means smoother AirPlay 2 streams, faster HomeKit automation responses, and reduce. D-Delay when connecting to HomePods or soundbars wirelessly. 4-4K HDR content. The benefits are immediate. More stable Dolby Vision playback, better sync with your sound system, and improved performance for users who don't have their Apple TV wired via Ethernet. In short, if your router is new enough to support Wi-Fi 6E or 7, the next Apple TV will finally be able to take advantage of it. 4. Smarter Home Integration a more reliable home hub. The Apple TV 4K isn't just a streaming device. It's the central brain of the Apple smart home ecosystem. Every Apple TV model doubles as a home hub, coordinating communication between devices using HomeKit, Thread, and Matter, the universal standard for connected homes. But if you've ever told Siri to turn on the lights and waited five seconds before anything happened, you know the current version still struggles with response times. The 2025 Apple TV 4K aims to fix that with improved thread radio hardware and a stronger internal antenna array. This will make it a better thread border router, improving signal range and reliability across your entire home. Expect faster pairing, fewer no-response errors, and automations that trigger instantly. Whether it's unlocking your smart door at night or adjusting the thermostat automatically when you get home. This quiet upgrade won't make headlines, but for users who rely on HomeKit and Matter devices, it's transformative. It's the kind of improvement that makes your home feel truly smart, not just connected. 5. Audio Experience – Smarter Sound with Neural Processing Apple's latest tvOS 18 beta builds already hint at new audio algorithms coming soon. These upgrades seem designed to leverage the additional processing power of newer chips. The next Apple TV will likely improve how dialogue is handled, something Apple started refining in recent tvOS updates. Expect AI-based dialogue enhancement, more dynamic soundstage separation, and better lip-sync correction for HomePod setups. If you use a pair of HomePods or HomePod minis as your default speakers, you'll appreciate how the next-gen Apple TV balances loud action scenes and quiet dialogue more effectively. In practical terms, that means no more late-night volume juggling. No more whispering scenes you can't hear followed by ear-shattering explosions. The device's neural audio processor could analyze content in real time, adjusting speech clarity and dynamic range on the fly. It's one of those subtle quality-of-life improvements you'll feel without noticing. 6. The Remote – Apple's Most Underrated Upgrade Let's be honest. The Siri Remote is one of Apple's most divisive accessories. While the last revision brought USB-C charging and a better click wheel, users still complain about two things, losing it constantly and not being able to see in the dark. The next Apple TV 4K could finally fix both. Leaks from accessory suppliers suggest that Apple is testing a backlit remote with ultra-wideband, UWB, support. The same technology inside AirTags, and the iPhone 15 lineup. That means Find My Remote could finally become real. Imagine asking your iPhone, where's my remote? And watching a directional arrow guide you right to it, complete with a soft ping sound. It's small, but it's the kind of thoughtful improvement that makes the overall product feel more premium and more human. Pair that with possible haptic feedback for navigation, and you've got a remote that feels far more interactive than anything Apple has shipped before. Seven. Storage Expansion and Price Strategy Apple's last Apple TV refresh surprised people with a price drop, making it more competitive in a crowded streaming market. The current base model offers 64GB, with a 128GB option for heavier users. But with growing app sizes and increasingly complex Apple Arcade titles, storage pressure is real. Expect Apple to introduce a 256GB configuration giving developers more headroom for richer games, fitness apps, and interactive environments. Pricing will likely remain strategic. Apple may stick close to its $129 to $149 range for the base model, 
while reserving higher tiers for expanded storage and faster networking. That would keep it competitive with Google TV, Roku Ultra, and Amazon's Fire TV Cube, while maintaining Apple's trademark premium image. 8. Design and Sustainability – The Invisible Evolution Don't expect a radical redesign. Apple typically refines its Apple TV hardware subtly, prio, rightizing efficiency, thermal management, and eco-friendly materials. The new model could feature a smaller chassis, more efficient cooling, and a recyclable aluminum enclosure in line with Apple's 2030 carbon neutral goals. Inside, a more efficient chip means less heat and lower energy consumption, an underrated but important shift for devices that stay powered on 24 seven. Apple might also experiment with fanless airflow design, ensuring silent operation even under heavy loads. Nine, release timeline and early clues. Apple rarely announces the Apple TV on stage anymore. Instead, it tends to appear quietly via press release, often in spring or fall, depending on Apple's broader launch calendar. The clearest clues often show up in software. When developers start spotting new Apple TV model identifiers in tvOS betas, or when regulatory filings appear in databases like the FCC, the countdown begins. If history repeats, that could place the Apple TV 4K 2025 release window between March and October 2025, possibly alongside new iPads or the Apple HomePod refresh. 10. Should you wait or buy now? So is it worth waiting? Let's break this down clearly. You should wait if you primarily watch YouTube and want the best possible picture quality. You have a 120 Hertz TV and care about smoother sports or gaming. You've upgraded your router to Wi-Fi 6, E, or 7. You're frustrated by HomeKit automation delays and want better thread reliability. You constantly lose your remote and would benefit from a Find My feature. You could buy now if you mainly stream movies and shows in 4K 60 Dolby Vision slash Atmos. You don't care about YouTube quality differences or gaming refresh rates. You want a stable device today at a discount. The current Apple TV 4K 2022 is still excellent. It's fast, efficient, and receives tvOS updates for years. But if those keywords, AV1, 120Hz, and Wi-Fi 6E excite you, the 2025 model is worth waiting for. 11. The 10-Second Decision Checklist Let's make it simple. Do you watch YouTube daily? Wait. Do you game or watch sports at 120Hz? Wait. Do you have Wi-Fi 6E or plan to upgrade soon? Wait. Do you mostly watch films in Dolby Vision and Atmos at 4K60? By now. Do you constantly lose your remote? Wait for Find My Remote. 12. Final Thoughts. The subtle evolution that matters. The 2025 Apple TV 4K won't reinvent streaming boxes. It'll perfect the experience. Instead of flashy gimmicks, this upgrade focuses on the details that matter every single day. Wide heavy checkmark cleaner YouTube and streaming quality through AV1. Wide heavy checkmark smoother gameplay and sports with 4K 120Hz and VRR. Wide heavy checkmark faster, more reliable smart home automation with thread and matter. Wide heavy checkmark stronger wireless performance with Wi Fi 6, E, and 7. Wide heavy checkmark a remote that's finally trackable and easier to use in the dark. It's a quiet revolution. The kind of Apple upgrade that fades into the background because everything simply works. So if you're setting up your dream entertainment system for 2025 and beyond, keep an eye out for those three keywords in the spec sheet. AV1 hardware decode, 120 hertz support, and Wi-Fi 6E. When you see them, you'll know Apple's little black box has finally reached its next level. And when that happens, your next movie night, your next gaming session, and even your smart home will look and feel a lot smarter.